What's going on, you guys? So I had a text message that I thought I'd look at for you. Um, and he writes to me, he writes, uh, Hey Lloyd, I've been texting this girl. We had plans the weekend before and she couldn't make it. So I texted her this week and she seemed really enthusiastic to meet up. So I suggested we get drinks at this bar near my place. She said, that sounds great. Smiley face, some emojis. But I might have to watch my dog that day. So I'll let you know. How should I respond to this? What should I do? Okay, cool. So this is something that I get a lot. I get a lot of guys who reach out to me where they're trying to get a girl out and you know they're having some issues with it. Uh, but the girl seems like she's, you know, it, she seems like she wants to meet up. Okay, she seems like she likes him. Uh, unfortunately, I got some harsh news for this guy. Um, yeah, I, anytime you're getting a I'll let you know, anytime you're getting flaked on for reasons like that, um, you're probably better off moving on, man, okay? Now, what this woman has told you is that she is not willing to give up her time and set aside to hang out with you. She's basically saying, hey, I'm gonna see if there's anything better going on and then I'll come hang out with you. Yes, is there a chance she does have to watch her dog? Yeah, absolutely. But let's be real, if she wanted to, she could drop it off at a friend's house. She could leave her dog there for just a couple hours, you know? Like, I've, I've taken care of dogs, like you can leave them for that long a period of time, it's not a big deal. This is kind of a bullshit excuse, okay? If she wanted to meet up, she would. Now, it's not to say that she doesn't like this guy, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure she does, but not enough to not watch her dog for a couple hours. She's already flaked on him once, and anytime you're getting the I'll let you know, this basically means that they're looking for something better or they're just, you know, waiting to see if they literally have nothing else to do and then they'll use you as a backup plan. And almost always, they, they just don't end up going for you, okay? This girl has flaked on you once, dude, and she's gonna flake on you again. My rule, and I recommend you have this rule too, is if you try two times to meet up with somebody and they haven't meet up with you, just go on and move, move on to somebody who will meet up with you, okay? You have to price your time as, as valuable. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, your options are either do that or you leave your freaking Saturday open for this girl just in case she might wanna meet up with you. Now, if you don't respect your time that much, I mean, Saturday night's like a big, you could go out, you could meet somebody else. Like, there's so many possibilities for you to do, okay? You're leave, you're, you don't, she does not have respect for your time, and the truth is you really don't either if you're doing this. Here's what I would message her. I would message her something like this. I would message her, um, okay, no worries. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make plans then. We should just meet up another time. And then you can put a smiley face, you can put whatever. It, it, it doesn't make a difference, okay? End on a positive note. And then after you send that, just don't text her again, okay? Unless she's really trying to meet up with you, like reaching out and saying, hey, when are we gonna do our, our date and stuff? Like, okay, maybe give her some, you know, see if she's actually like being serious and she does wanna meet up with you. Cause for the moment, she doesn't, dude. And honestly, I know this guy's watching this and thinking, but I really like, maybe there's a chance that she does have to watch her dog and all that stuff and I really wanna meet up with her. Okay, cool. First of all, you're in scarcity, dude. <laughs> so get out of scarcity, that should be your main priority. Uh, and second of all, this is actually the best chance you have of meeting up with this person. Because right now, if a woman doesn't respect you or your time, like she's not gonna sleep with you. She's not gonna wanna date you. Like that's just not behavior of a woman that's really interested in a guy. Okay, so yeah, that's your best option to text that. But honestly, dude, like I would want, I would prefer that you go after somebody who's gonna respect your time a little bit more. There's plenty of girls out there. There's plenty of awesome, wonderful women that you can meet. Um, and yeah, stop, stop going after women that's, that's not really gonna work out for you, okay? Trying to narrow down women for dates is, is really tough. I prefer to just organize my own event and things like that and bring, you know, have fun and bring people who wanna have fun with me and see who sticks around and see which people I have chemistry with. Um, I think that's a better way of doing things uh, so you don't have to leave dates open for people who might flake on you. Uh, that way you're still having the fun regardless with or, with or without them. Um, but that's something that I teach in you know my coaching and I'm also gonna be teaching it in my approaching system which is gonna be coming out September 10th. We finally have a date for it, you guys. So if you wanna get notified about that, click the link in the description box below. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you're having this problem, that's what I would text that person. The I'll let you knows in general, um, if you're getting a lot of those, this girl's not serious about seeing you, okay? If she, if she was, she wouldn't be texting you that. Cool, all right. 
Thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it, consider subscribing and come up with videos like this every single week. Good luck out there.